Hi and welcome to another episode uh, by Social Day. Today we're going to speak about a new feature that has been released on Facebook called Interests. Now, if you're wondering where do you find the link to this uh, new feature, as soon as you log into Facebook and you click on Facebook, the icon over here, that takes you to your news feed and on the left hand column you find interest way down over here. Now, if you click on more, you get a link to create a list. So let's click on that very quickly. Okay, so here we have it. So I'm going to create a list and uh, let's see how this works. Uh, for starters, I would like to say that this works very much on the concept of lists that are available in Twitter. Now on Twitter, if you have a group of people that you like to follow, you can arrange them into a list. Once they are arranged into a list and you click on that list, you can see only their updates, thereby saving you time and public noise. Because if you go to your public, uh, uh, your, uh, once you log into Facebook and you know how it is that everyone's updates are available. But if you want to only see uh, updates from a certain specific list of people, then you create a list. And when you click on that list, you see only updates from those people and that would save you a lot of public noise. Similar to that, Facebook have released a feature called interests and works on similar, similar lines. So if you want to create a new list, you just need to choose. Now you can choose some pages, you can choose some subscriptions and you can choose some friends. Okay, so if you go to pages and you find uh, that this pop-up has brought up a lot of pages that I have liked, you know a lot of games you can see over here but what if you want to add a page that uh, you have not previously clicked like then you would need to go here and let's see let's look for lady gaga maybe here you have it and uh, here's lady gaga's page 49 million plus likes <laughs> that is huge so you can click on this and then she's added to your list same thing with your subscriptions. Now subscriptions are people who have publicly allowed other people to follow them. So you have a lot of famous people over here and a lot of bloggers that I follow and you can see their faces over here including a few musicians and uh, here we have Snoop Dogg over here. So all of these people have allowed uh, us to follow them and you can add them your list your favorite people or you can go to your friends and then clicking on any one of your friends uh, names would also add them to a list and then you can create a list so let me see I will go to my subscriptions okay and then I'm going to add a few people I'm just randomly clicking in okay so I've so you can see over here the link says selected six so we have six people that I've selected to this new list and then I'm going to click on next and you know choose a list name so I'm going to say people I like to follow and then I click done and my list is generated so here we have people I like to follow so as you can see from the left hand column I have subscriptions then I have bloggers I follow basically I added a list of bloggers that I like to follow and whenever I click on this I get only updates from those people and as you just saw I created people I like to follow so I click on that and here are all the people that I like to follow and all their updates fairly simple so this is how a Facebook list would work and you can now create all of your lists and the benefit of creating a list is that every morning probably you like to follow a few bloggers and you want to see what's or probably it's a few newspaper updates that you follow online and you can click on those lists and get your news for the day or your fun for the day whatever it might be or maybe even your videos for the day and uh, in this way you can organize your Facebook news feed and follow different lists of people according to topics and your interests. Thanks for watching folks and have a great day.